Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I'm doing my very first Inktober drawing. And no, it's not any clickbait title, it's actually my very first Inktober drawing ever. And as I obviously did use ink mediums in the past and I'm familiar with it, I actually never get a chance to draw a full illustration using only ink. And well, maybe I was just lazy and now I'm trying to make up an excuse for didn't joining the Inktober challenge before. But anyway, today is the day and I'm trying my best to make an Inktober drawing happen. And since I don't have much experience with Inktober, I was wondering if I should use any prompt list. And I was obviously thinking about the uh, original one, and I also know that a lot of artists do their own uh, prompt lists, but since it's my first time joining the Inktober, I didn't want it to limit myself in any way, and I just wanted to experiment with the ink medium at my own terms. So I decided to skip using any prompt list. And also, since I already had an idea in my mind for this drawing, I just thought that it will be easier to draw without any theme. And the drawing I did, I wanted it to be something really autumny and cozy, so you will feel the autumn atmosphere just when you look at it. So I hope I succeeded in showcasing this. And for the mediums I used, my primary medium was Ecoline, and well, even though it's not really ink, it's a liquid watercolor, it performs just like an ink. The same opacity and the same consistency. Well, the only difference is the fact that Ecoline is just a little bit more blendable and it gives you time to work with it. While ink just dries out and it doesn't move at all, so when you do some undesired stroke with the ink, you're more or less messed up the whole drawing. So that's why I picked Ecoline. And for my brush I used the Pento water brush and this one was uh, is my favorite one ever since. I just love the fact that you can fill up the little tank that it has with the water, so you don't need to dip your brush in the water for every time you want to change the color or just remove the color from the brush. So it was really helpful and I highly recommend this one to any of you that likes uh, water mediums, this one is really great. And for some finishing touches for my drawing, I used some black fine liners, black marker and a white gel pen for the highlights, obviously. And yeah, that's all for the description part, I guess. And guys, let me know how did I do with the Inktober drawing, my very first Inktober drawing. Did I succeed or was it a failure? Let me know. But despite whatever you're gonna say, I had so much fun experimenting with ink and this only black mediums and I'm definitely gonna experiment more and do more drawings, maybe not Inktober drawings, well we'll see what's gonna happen, I don't know if I'm gonna have this much time to do it, but yeah, like I said, definitely gonna experiment with inks more in the future. And uh, yeah, comment down below how do you think I did. And uh, of course, like always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to be up to date with my videos. And once more, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my upcoming videos very, very soon. I hope you're having a great day and I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye bye.
just going with the gut Never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now